The Cleveland Way is a national trail in the historic area of Cleveland in North Yorkshire. It runs 110 miles between Helmsley and the Brig at Filey, skirting the North York Moors National Park. Welcome to another video and welcome to the start of the Cleveland Way from Helmsley on the North Yorkshire Moors through to Filey on the Yorkshire coast. Taking in a lot of the places that I frequented as a youth and throughout my life and going through Whitby where I was born and raised so it's quite a, a nostalgic hike for me. It's one that my nan and granddad did, they section hiked it back in the day. Um, so it's amazing to be following in their footsteps again. You have to sort of change your tactics a little bit because there's not, as, you know, for example, there's not as much water or safe water to purify. Camping spots are going to be a little bit harder to come by. We're probably going to have to be doing a lot more stealth camping, but I've packed accordingly. And I have done a kit video for everything that I'm taking on this trip. I'll, I'll link that here. I don't know. I don't even know if I've made it yet. You could be watching this as like an apology video. There's a heat wave. Britain's gone into heat wave. I mean, it's just, it's just a nice, nice weather. But people are calling it a heat wave, so it's going to get pretty hot. And that might bring up its own sort of problem. So I've got a lot of water with me. I'm carrying over two litres of water with me. Right, let's go, man. Let's go. First gate, first latch and lock. Oh, that's a good one as well. Look at that, locked. Locked and latched. Oh. Beauty, man, beauty. We're into the field, look, we're doing it. <laughs> we're on it, we're on a hike, we're on a multi-day hike. I'm excited, I'm excited. And I'm excited to take you with me. See what adventures we can come up with, or let's just see if we can get to end. Eh? Let's just see if we can get to end. There's no real rush. The days are very long this time of year, so you know I can stop and smell the roses, so to speak. Another one, second one already, man. We're getting. It's similar to well, it's the same as the other one, isn't it? Because if it's not broke, don't fix it, and he's probably got a good deal there. I mean, it's probably bulk bulk bottom there's going to be a lot of latches and locks so that's exciting for all you latch and lock fans stay tuned because there's got to mean if you don't know now you know but we're going to capture a lot of latch and lock content on this hike and to be fair and to be honest the main reason of, for doing this hike is to um to capture some latch and lock footage for my main instagram channel uh, latch and locks Everything else is just a byproduct of it. Um, I just thought we may as well just roll it all into one. Big buzzard over there. Nature. <laughs> Nature AF. It's not like majestic, like you know, your Scotland and your your lakes, your Wales, your whatever, your Norways, but it's North Yorkshire, mate. Home. And to me it's beautiful, rolling hills, farmland, quaint little seaside villages, chef's kiss. This ain't going to happen, this ain't going to happen too much is it, on a long distance walk? This is just day one, optimistic, walking past camera like I've got time and energy to spare. Cut to like mile 80 or like day five, you're not walking past camera are you there, you're just trying to get to end. Get to alehouse but wait mate can't deny it i'm excited and i'm i'm buzzing so why not do a few walks past camera in fact we'll do one now let's do it now look put you down there there you go watch this look at that do the height mate 
Hey, I'll do it this way. So look at the camera, you're hiking like a champion. There you go. Not even deployed the old walking devices. My thoughts are, I'll get them when I need them. They're there, for, they're there to change the game when it gets to some serious elevation. Today, I'm just going to try and do it without using them. Well, I've just dipped into these woods, which is uh, it's quite good. <laughs> Shaded, because it's... Have I got a bead on? Sort of, yeah. Well, yeah, I have got a bead on. Jezza bead on. It's like an event. It's like a, doing a marathon or some sort of challenge. And so I don't mind getting a bit sweaty. I don't mind hurting a little bit and putting effort in. Going, you know, breaking through the old pain barrier if needs be a few times. It's all part of the journey. It makes it... Makes it better, mate. The rich tapestry of life for Selsley. Hey, should we run up? No, come on. Don't run up, mate. Wild watermelon. You could handle living there, couldn't you? With those vistas. Christopher Reeves, dear Santa. Oh, it looks nice in there, like. Ashbury Farm, is that where I am? Yes, so we good do we do? We carry on on the road. Carry on over the bridge and on the road. Good job I stopped to check. We're leaving the road now, I believe. Yeah, Cleveland Way. This way. The Cleveland Way is up. Baby, baby. Ah, here we go, look, another latch, latch and lock. He's gone a bit heavy duty with chain, hasn't he? What we got? Oh yeah, classic. It's a classic. I'm hoping for some nice squeak on this. Here we go. That's a nice... That is nice. Nice action. Nice patina. Let's get some acoustics on it. Clunk click. Thanks for coming. It's Monday. And Monday and Tuesday are forecast to be... I think the hottest days on record. Like in the UK. It's some sort of hot wind in it that's come over from, that originated in Africa and has uh, made its way through sort of Spain and France and now it's here and it's, it is hot, like it's noticeably hotter but no much hotter than if you're going, you know, if you're going overseas or whatever or just a real nice hot day, so as long as you've got your daft your lollipop lady hat on and you're ploughing through water so you don't bonk out. And I've got uh, some electrolyte tablets that I put in my water just to give me some extra, just to replace the salts that are lost, you know, when you sweat. And that's what, uh, that's what stops you bonking out. And by bonking out, I just mean you sort of, you lose a lot of electrolytes and you lose a lot of water or whatever, and you just, your body sort of starts to give a bit of a bonk out <laughs> goes on one doesn't it, it starts to I don't know what it does ain't that a bonny picture ain't that bonny covered in reeds and bog plants and stuff so not good for swimming in but definitely a, a lovely sight for the old peepers medic look at these youths angled, hey, I didn't see you there kid See you later, yeah? Look at this bonny little thing. I feel like lying down in it, but it's only about two inches deep. I spy with my latchy eye. 
something beginning with lock. Oh, he's not got a loop on top, it's just a bag it odd it like that. It's worn away a little bit. I'm not too not too keen on that. What's that for? Don't know. It's sort of all over the place. Ah I see. Because it's a lever, it's not a pull up, it's a watch this, you go that way. Oh my god, it's, it's not even a creek watch. See, this is a classic example of um judging a book by its cover because I've seen this and I've thought he's not got his hoop on top to pull up, like what's this? You know, I've come at it from a negative mindset. And it's proven me very, very wrong because look, it has a little bit of thing here that you can hold. Listen to this, not a si shh, listen. That is as quiet as a gate as I've ever heard. Look at that. My word, the action is... This is peak performance, mate. Right, listen. Well done. Well done, whoever did that. Proud of you. Is this the way? I don't know. Uh, it looks like it could be. I don't know, there's lots of options. I had a little look at map and it seemed to be this way, but could have easily been on the other side of this beck. When you're trying to put a shift in and do like over 20 miles, anything that you do wrong is pretty soul destroying. You know, if you're having to backtrack or detour. So hopefully this is okay. <laughs> Medic! Uh, fair enough, mate. What have we got here? Love a hay bale though, really neat. It's nice. Come up here, there's this mad gate with no sides to it. And I've got onto this field. I don't look to be a path, so I'm going to have to get back on map. I didn't think I'd have to use the map as much as this because of because it's such a sort of it's because it's such a well a well-known trail. I know it's very highly signposted, but I've either gone wrong or this bit isn't very signposted. <laughs> so map check, water check. Get on that. Let's get one of these tablets on as well. Lifesavers, these man. For all you slurpers out there, slurpers and burpers out there, if you um, if you like a slurp and burp, get yourself one of these. Put it in a pint of water next to your bed. So go and have your slurps. Do one before you go to bed, and as soon as you wake up, and it'll help you deal with life a lot better. So that's the water I've used today so far. It's about there kind of rationing it I mean I've just drunk a lot there haven't I look that's not rationing let's have a goose at map see what's guani right where did I go there oh no I've goofed I've come up this little dotted, this little dotted one here, up here, when I should have gone around there. <coughs> I've goofed. Right, remember that bit when I was like, oh, when you're trying to do over 20 miles and you do a detour or whatever, it can be a soul destroyer. No, that's what I've just done. I looked at my map and I was like, this doesn't seem right. Don't feel right, you know, you get that feeling when you're navigating that it just doesn't, <laughs> things aren't adding up. And so, I got my GPS and a cross-reference to it map and I goofed, I've done taking a wrong turn. Too busy banging on about latches and locks and that one, I, I got carried away by latches and locks. Um, so that's annoying, but whatever. In this heat as well, <laughs> woohoo. I've plotted the whole route now into my into OS maps, so I don't need the paper map. I just like, it's just, 
there's something romantic, not romantic, something sort of, yeah, there's a romance and a, a sense of adventure, isn't there, when you're looking at a map and uh, navigating from a paper map. I, I do like it and I will continue to bring paper maps, even though they're sort of a little bit void now, aren't they, with technology. Uh, but I've relegated it to a bag and then it'll just be used for map time. At the end of each day, we'll get out the paper map and we'll discuss where we've been and where we went wrong <laughs> and what we've learned and why we are now better people for it. My mate's girlfriend had a leather jacket and I tried it on and it was uh, it was tight to get in. I mean, I looked wonderful in it. People were saying that I looked like a, you know, just cool, like an Italian gangster or something, which is cool. They didn't. Uh, but what it did do is make my it's made my arms look like little bits of licorice. So that's that. Might have to get doing some push-ups and that. I'll do some tonight anyway. What's this? I'm having a look. Booze? There's booze. Abby. Abby shooting. Ah, uh, yeah. That's why there's all these grouse kicking about, isn't there? It's a shooting lodge. Look at that, man. Big deer in there. You can't see it, but that's cool. Oh, look at them huge igloo uh, coolers. So they've got all beers on go. Barbecue. Toilet. Awesome. A little bow and arrow thing. So all posh lads can come blast all farmed grouse. Like shooting fish in a barrel. There, this would be me. All posh boys would be in there with grouse hunting things. I'll be in here. Whatever's in here, I'll be in there, look. <laughs> Relegated to this tiny little house. Man, it's warm. Weesh! You could do with a slush puppy. Anybody here? Anybody here? Wow, it's got a fire in it. Oh my God, I'm inside. Look at that. It's got a good fire pit. You can all sit around there. There's empty bottles of booze where people have been having a good time. Bottle of moe, you can tell, look. That's the level, that's what we're dealing with here. Should we go in? It's too hot. It's like an oven. You could uh, keep on these benches. Oh my God, my door shit is so hot. What have we got, look? We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Dry gin, moe, look. Is any in there? No. <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Oh my God, it's so hot. Imagine that though, like, if they were all full, I was just like, ah, I'll just taste one. I'll just taste one, just for laughing, and then I got the taste for it. And then, uh, oh my God, get me out of here. It's boiling. Oh my God, imagine if it was locked. Some dude just comes and locks me in. <laughs> yeah, the hunting lodge. But here's the plot twist. We hunt stupid Yorkshiremen that have got lost and tried to piss about in all it looks. You better get running, lad. <laughs> Bow an hour for it back at armpit. <sighs> and they get there and I'm just sparked out on the floor with surrounded by all empty bottles. <laughs> hey, beautiful little area. I'm having it. I'm having it. So this is the sign that I'll be looking for for those that don't know. The old, the old acorn, and that symbolises the national trails of the UK. Covered with dead wild garlic, it's just everywhere. Man, on both sides. I bet in spring it's the right place to be down here. What? Why is there two? Oh, that is genial. One for the gate, and then two opens the, the bigger picture. That's wonderful. That is top quality, that. Let's have a look, come on. Very nice. Skinny hard sheep. You're not, you have to get out of the way, mate, I'm afraid. He's injured, look. He's diarrheaing, he's not well. Get up there. No, dude, oh, he's not well. You're all right, mate. You're all right. You are not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. Poor little thing. He's not well. Hey, mate. How can I sit? What can I do? There's just a sheep here in the middle of the path. It's not well. He's fallen over. He just tried to walk away from me, and he's fallen over. 
she. Uh, what do you do? Ain't no signal or anything. I'll get up here and. Well, all you can do, I guess, if you see a farmer, or if you see a farmhouse that looks like it belongs to the, like, that this land is owned by, I'll just say, look, mate, there's a sheep that's cacked itself down there. Now to do with me, by the way. Now to do with me. It was a natural occurrence. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not well because there's all his mates looking. They all look well. They're all quite plump. But my mate, he stood back up, but uh, the way he went down was not cool. And now I'm worried about him. Look, I knew it. These are all feeders, and they cut a break in the corn. And th this is for the grouse, or the pheasants, or whatever way it's grouse, I've seen them all. And this is where they'll all be when they go shooting in that posh little thing in the valley. This is feeding them. you got to worry about the... When humans have that sort of an impact, you've got to worry about the natural natural equilibrium of the... Um, of the area, of the ecosystem. And, and the knock-on effects, and I'm sure... You know, I'm just... I'm, I'm probably just waffling on heat stroke but and I'm sure you know DEFRA and different departments get involved with it and make sure that it isn't gonna you know mess everything up but surely having that many grouse in an area that's gonna have an impact on insects for example like they're gonna eat more insects or you know the foxes and ferrets and wombles are gonna eat more of the grouse and that's gonna tip it off balance what are you guys have you guys got in maybe that that sheep was just thirsty should have given it an electrolyte tablet. Yeah, they're all underneath there trying to get away from the sun. They've got no respite, no shade area. Tiny little swing on the village green. Not a village green, is it? It's just a bit of grass, but webs. Some gloves in a box. It's just country stuff, in it? Deal with it. 1836. That's when the house was built. 1836. That's old. I bet the insulation's bloody rubbish. They'll be all listed as well, won't they? Some stunning little cottages though and houses. Middle of nowhere, just a little just a little lane in the middle of nowhere. What's that art what? Is this art? I think that was art. I think we just done art. I think we just, I think that was just a bit of artwork, I think. Videography. <laughs> That's pretty warm. <sighs> Am I burning? Probably. That was decent, that was effortless. I didn't even pay attention to it, it was so good. You don't want to burn too much on shoulders and then have your bag rubbing into your burn. That's only, that could stop the game, couldn't it? That could stop me in my tracks. This is glorious. I'm just about to head into this woodland now. Beautiful fields and rolling countryside, classic Yorkshire. And we're just about to head, I think, into this woodland. That is unreal, man, when you get in the shade. But the sunlight just peppering its way through the canopy. It's beautiful. Beautiful little stretch, this. I want to show you that it, you don't, it doesn't always have to be an epic, like, getting lost in the mountain for it to be beautiful and challenging and rewarding and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's this. This is just beautiful. The rolling hills of Yorkshire and uh, I want to showcase it. I want to showcase this particular hike. I want to showcase this area, especially the coast, because it's where I grew up. That's where my family's from and it's uh, somewhere that I'm proud to be from. I'm proud to be from Whitby and in, uh, in, uh, North Yorkshire. You know, North Yorkshire, I'm proud. I don't know what it means to be proud to be North Yorkshire. I guess it's a little bit antiquated to feel like that and it's a little bit like, yeah, you know, why? But it's just a love for the area, I guess. And that mixed with like a deep nostalgia um, just creates this 
wonderful feeling when I think of the place or you know if I ever when I go away and I come back it's like oh here it is and it's gonna be like that for me on this walk because it's you know we're walking through a lot of my old stomping grounds and places that I've not been for a while so I'm looking forward to exploring them feelings and uh, seeing what it conjures up oh it's a library is that what you call it not oh, GG's horses and this is they look it's where they gallop am I all right on here yeah that's where they gallop look all to uh, carpet underlaying whatever they use just smashed up into bits makes it nice and soft for horses there's a couple of nice specimens glorious glory horse medic here we have look loads of it as well it's sort of an invasive invasive species himalayan balsam and the flowers like an airplane the flowers are edible got to watch out for bees in them though little critters it's just another trail snack if you like if you are desperate or if you're just on the hoof and you've got nothing a few slack handfuls of this and that here like as you go can give you a little bit of a boost like mentally it can give you a boost and you know just I remember really flagging one time me and my friend we'd camped out the night had a little few too many wines or whatever next day we were really struggling we just come across a bramble patch loads of them and we just spent sort of 15-20 minutes yamming brambles and it just gave us an absolutely just it was like having a red bull like we were just on it look at this fancy little handle look oh no what have we what have we become oh that is to work look he just twists it oh you've got to come this is not good that is not good you see It doesn't even, oh no, it's all brand new and all that, but people just don't put the, just ain't got the passion these days, have they? Here I am. It's not first, mate. Oh, it's cold. Yes, mate. H2O3. I got a coffee from the visitor centre. I know it's probably a bit nuts to get hot coffee on hot estate year, but drinking hot drinks is actually better for you when it's hot. That's mad as it sounds. Something to do with um, science, I believe. But I've, I'm shading under the, I'm taking refuge under this, under this silver birch, getting a little bit of shade on me getting out at sun because i'm starting to go a bit red and tomorrow's going to be even hotter so we're gonna <laughs> it's a big old test isn't it testies testies one one i've had my coffee i've left the visitor center and look at this for a view stunning Dunkle Bulgaria. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself though, because then if you fail, you get a little bit despondent, don't you? But quietly, I want to do 20 miles, minimum of 20 miles a day. Just had a little robin following me. Why do I love them little creatures so much? It's uh, they always seem to come when I need them. When I so the last sort of really long hike I did was the Cape Wrath Trail and when I set off on that hey look at this for a little view point wow you having that whoa that is wow yes man when I um, set off yeah, I saw a robin and before I set off, 
during lockdown I'd trained a robin to sort of, I befriended a robin basically, old Robert. When I got back from the Cape Wrath Trail, he was no more. He didn't come, he used to come every day. He didn't come and he just never came back. So I just, you know, RIP. Then I got COVID recently. Uh, so I was like 10 days and before that even, I've started to train another Robin, but he's he looks a lot less disheveled than the first one. So it's taken, it's been an absolute labor of love, but finally maybe a week or so ago i managed to to concrete and so now he's regularly just feeding off my hands even if i'm like if i'm out in the back garden and i'm just gardening or i'm sunbathing and i'm, I'm not even bothered about feeding him like the other day i was just lying down sunbathing and he just came and like started just he like landing on my chest and just flying around my head like picking my head to get some food <laughs> so truly befriending him wonderful Can't get cocky, can you? Because that's when you get your ass handed to you. You start saying, oh, Otty's 30 years, mate, I did 30 miles. Did it even affect me? And I wake up at night just hallucinating from heat, burning like blisters all over my shoulders and that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, stay humble. Speaking of staying humble, battery's going. I better, I better reload her. It's everywhere. This is fireweed. Willow herb. It's a good one to know if you're a forager and it's pretty looking. So there. Bilberries. Medic! That's too far. Borderline too far I've walked there. Yeesh! Too far. <laughs> Still doing it though, aren't I? You alright lads? Don't worry. You're yeah, alright. The sun is still behind these clouds. It does keep poking itself out a little bit every now and again and reminding me who's boss. Feeling good for day one. We'll see how I feel tomorrow morning. That's the that's the acid test. How do your feet do? How do you you know? How do your legs and feet feel first thing in the morning? Ooh, peregrine. There we are. Look, come back. These lads look all under shade. You do right, guys. You do right. Makes it derelict gaff. Is it derelict or what? You all right? I'm not going to hurt you. You all right, lads? So kick off. I'm gonna have a look in here, aren't I? <coughs> Alright, guy. <coughs> Don't make you <laughs> shush. Ah, it's a lot of nettles though. Sometimes you just gotta get in ah. Sometimes you just gotta get stung, aren't you, to appreciate nature. Ow. <coughs> Meh look. I'm getting stung to bits. Ow. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh. You don't want to be getting all inside at thighs all stung, do you, when there's a heat wave? Not at best of times. I don't know why I did that. Don't worry about it, guys. Just enjoy your shade. <laughs> Big lad. Big nuts. Osmotherly. That's the goal. Or not in Osmotherly, because I ain't staying in a hotel or anything. I'm just going to wild camp. So, on the outskirts of Osmotherly. <laughs> it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Olden times. I shall pitch my tent on the outskirts of Osmotherly. There's that falcon again. Falcon hoof. Osmotherly, nine miles. Heading into these woods. Can't even remember what that flat sign said. I've just literally looked at it. Nine miles, was it? Nine and a half miles. Nine to nine and a half miles to uh, Osmotherly. It ain't gonna get dark till half now. I don't wanna piss about in my tent because it's too hot. I'll cook. There's a lovely little place up here, Paradise Farm. Normally 
would have been open so I could get some refreshments and stuff but the way that I've done this it's a bit late and so it'll be closed which is a shame but that just means I'll just have to keep batting on through medic sun's out again now full full beans Woo! teaching me a lesson also what's good is there's no one else about I mean, I mean it's later on it's nearly seven o'clock but all day you know it's a popular hike and there's little sections of it that people do all the time but I shan't see anyone and that's the beauty of it isn't it because everyone's seen news and been like ah oh, it's too hot we can't be doing multi-day you know we can't be doing long hikes when it's this hot so everyone's stayed in pit or in paddling pool or whatever getting on getting on our beer gardens or whatever you know that sort of stuff <sighs> which I mean it is pretty bonkers doing this when it's what is it 38 degrees or something today still got a fair way to go as far as the eye can see up on the top of that ridge there and it goes around to there medic You alright mate? Hey up mate. Are you warm? Do you want some electrolyte? Alright, see ya. This is it mate. My Yorkshire. North Yorkshire. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Legs are feeling it a little bit. I've still not deployed the old scarecrow support units. Um, gonna just keep batting on for today and then maybe deploy them tomorrow. But yeah, feeling it, feeling it a little bit in legs. It's eight o'clock at night. So the shop will be shut. Um, pub will be open, but that's, I don't need that today. <laughs> Lost it. This is, per I mean the bugs are out now, getting peppered a little bit, but this is perfect. Perfect hiking conditions now, with the sun. A lot lower in the sky. The evening's well and truly set in, so it's nice and cool relatively cool it's still humid but well, compared to what i've been getting blasted with this is perfect conditions so i think we're just about to hit some sort of a road here so i'll have to keep going until i oh what's this look yeah a live one look medic and that's just how it is sometimes just on the oh no not another medic Double drop. <sighs> right then, let's crack on. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's dedication, is that? Isn't it? When you're over 20 miles deep on Otis Day and you're doing this, look. I'm gonna look for somewhere off this track first place that I see that can oh look what's that ow ow don't bite me guy it's a shrew it's a live shrew look at this lad oh look little shrew shrewsbury don't make a bolt for it mate you're quite out in fact let's go down here where you're not gonna bolt it <laughs> young shrewsbury yeah you a sweetheart look Oh. oh, love these paths, love them, look at the stone, pff, 
proper chunks, man. Just respect to the people that lay these paths. It can't be easy. And they look mint because all the grass, it like, looks like it's just pointed up with grass. I'm getting bits pieces here, like. Getting eaten. Let's get tent up. I can't find anywhere. <laughs> it's all thick bracken. Michaela. Cold water kills. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that lad. Bathing prohibited. This is glorious. There's just a buzzard calling out through the valley over yonder. Do it again. There we are. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful. I can't find anywhere really. It's past nine o'clock, look at that. No, look at it. So, here's what it is. I'll have to maybe just go into Oz Motherly and keep in a bus station or something, or maybe if they've got a graveyard, I could bed down there. The only thing I forgot though is my bug net. The rays of light coming out of that. Here's the first houses of Oz Motherly. Well, I guess the plus side is I've put a shift in. See, considering I started at like, what was it, like 12 o'clock, half 12? Started late, so... It's a decent shift. A lot of work gone into that. I'm a few minutes, I'm about 10 minutes. I'm just got chatting to some guy, he said I was about 10 minutes from Moz Motherly. So, he was like, yeah, you're going to the campsite. I was like, Maybe, maybe not, mate. This is my campsite. Free. In this field. So the track is just behind this hedge here. And I've just jumped over this fence and now I'm in here. And it's fine because I'm just, it's late at night. I'm going to be bouncing straight away in the morning. No, like, no messing about. Even if farmer comes, I'll just be like, yeah, wait, mate. Right, causing you no grief. I'll be on my way. Um, but this hedgerow is all like hawthorn holly there's all it's just all bad news for air for uh the uber light air bed try not get popped so mind a flat bit of grass as well just have a bit of a nice night let's get tent set up and um I'll get socks and shoes off right oh there we are we're up and running not a bad little pitch there's not a lot i'm going to be doing now anyway I'm just going to rest my feet. You're going to be with me for a few days anyway, so you'll get to see all this. Look at that thorn, man. Straight through the bottom of the tent. And through my orange mat. That would have just annihilated me. Air, bad, air bed on the first night, wouldn't it? Damn. This is a ropey place to camp, man. Right, I've gone for it. I've blown my Uber light up because it's just too rough. Uh, the ground's too rough and I don't want to jack my body in, so... Um, I've gone under tent with hands and that and got rid of whatever I could find. And if there's anything little, I've just put my, folded my sleeping bag out, put it under here, as well as that orange thing. And I'll just sleep on top of here and just put my puffer jacket on and I've got merino wool there, so I'm not going to be really cold. An hottest day ever. It's nearly 10 o'clock. Right. You know what time it is. Got to be quiet because, as I say, we're near the, um, near the track. So, this is the start of the Cleveland Way here in Helmsley. So, we set off up there. Can I remember it? All the way up here. 
all the way up here. Yeah, through this woodland. And this was all like really nice. Nice hiking through. We hit this bit of road over this lovely bridge. That was where there was a nice bit of river. Carry on on this road, past that water, over the stepping stones, and this is where I goofed, mate. I'll show you, look. You can see all these? It's getting a bit dark now. So I, so all these different paths here, I took this one up through this wood, like an e -jat. And then I had to come back, join the path, and along I went, on my merry way. I can't remember, it was only, it seems like ages ago now, I can't even remember what I did today. Over here, whatever this was. <laughs> it was all lovely hiking. Through uh, Cold Kirby, that was nice. Through all these fields and stuff. Down through the wood, hit the main road, this was, oh yeah, through the horse bit. Hit the main road, but only just for a very short period of time. And then instead of going this way, like an optional extra to go see this, which I've seen many a time. I went, where did I go? I went down here. I went down here and then cut through here, bosh, in here to visit a centre for a coffee. Filled it with water bottles, which was a joy. Back along this ridge, gorgeous views out to the left. All the way along here. This was good walking this, I just sort of got in a bit of a zone and was just thinking some good thoughts and having a good time. All the way along through this wood here, up past Paradise Farm where I would have stopped for a brew and all that but I was cutting it a bit late. Up here, check my map again here because it was on loads of different routes. And then just hit this. And that's what I've been following all afternoon, or all evening actually, along the top of this moor. Some lovely views out along this way. Diddle diddle diddle. Where did I go? Yeah, then I started to drop down here. Again, some lovely woodland, lovely views down here. Some lovely houses down here as well. And then hit this road for a tiny little bit. That's where I had a little chat. That's where I had a chat with that guy. His house is there. So I came up here and I'm in here. I am bang in this field here. Don't know what that warning thing is, but hopefully it doesn't mean there's a massive bullet field that I haven't checked out. I'm not even going to have anything to eat tonight. I'm not hungry at all because I'm just so hot. I've just got a drink. I'm just going to have a drink and then crack on in the morning. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification and you'll be reminded when the next upload is so you can catch part two. And unless something magic or tragic happens, I shall see you for day two.